Welcome. So here we're doing a walkthrough on one of our projects that uh, we've worked on. It's gone through a couple rounds of red lines. In my final round of red lines after I get done doing them, what I like to do is I like to come back to the project. I measure everything out. You can see all my stakes. So I pitch it all out as it would lay out. Then I put my red line plans out so I can see my elevations, my, rend my 3Ds, my floor plans, and then I start marking them up. And I envision myself at every spot. So in the garage, on the first floor, the entry, the parking area over here, how it's getting cut out, take into consideration my views, how high I will be on the elevation change depending on the level and the walkout, and then take into consideration where I'm placing my hot tub, my barbecue, my gym, my theater, where we're driving in, how steep's the driveway, you know, is it all convenient? Is there plenty of area to turn around? Is the entrance grand, walking up to the entrance, what is that visual, what is that visual? What is the curb appeal? So I came up here and um, changed it yet again. A few minor adjustments and then here we are. Uh, a lot of people ask me, how long does it take to do a set of plans? And it really depends on the property. I know that's not the answer you want, but depending on how many views and how many considerations there are, size, features, price, uh, you know, what kind of architecture that you're using. Here we're doing what's called the Mountain Modern Chalet. That's a, a, a term we've coined. <laughs> so a lot of mountain modern, a lot of contemporary modern, a lot of contemporary rustic, a lot of mountain rustic, a lot of mountain modern. But the Mountain Modern Chalet is something we've coined, and that's um, kind of our niche here in Aspen, Snowmass, Colorado. And we find that it brings the broad appeal of an Alpental type property, as well as the conveniences and the luxuries of the modern and contemporary designs. So keeping it simple, clean, and yet having that nice warm feelings, the nice big beams, warm, large architecture with big grand views. So, and then of course all the amenities, your gym, your spa, make sure you have enough housing, rooms for everyone, a theater, bars, uh, so all of that in consideration and large open floor plans so that people can congrue. And we like to use the outdoor, indoor living areas as one. So we have these big accordion door systems, sliding door systems that literally open up the outdoors and bring them in. So you have these 16 by 16 foot openings, 10 foot, 12 foot by 16 foot openings that literally uh, transfer you to the outdoors without even uh, changing the floor plan, right? Because there's these big window type openings. Or you can close it all off, still have the views, but maintain your heat and efficiencies that way. So uh, here, <clears throat> this is one of our uh, more exciting projects that we have upcoming. And we, like I said, we laid it out, we staked it out, we walked the property, and then we reviewed our plans, and then we envision how it will look in the end and how it will appeal to the final user. So uh, that's how we do it here at Aspen Development.